환영합니다, 손님. How's it going, everyone? And welcome back to another video of Library of Ruina, the modded series. I'm Demonic Wolf, and today we are finally finishing off the Angels of Ruina office. Now, last time we saw them, Mayumi saved Paige's life, and we are going to see what happened after that. So with that, everyone, sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. Let's go ahead and jump right in. A voice coming from my heart. But this voice, so delicate and so warm. What's wrong with you all of a sudden? Yes, I need power. How dare you? But maybe you are right. In the end, I am just a greedy and selfish person who can't survive on my own when I don't have others to rely on. I live for everyone. I want to hold on to everyone. The truth is, I'm really just afraid that after everyone leaves me one day, I'll be all alone again. And just like that, like a soul once filled with hope, has now gradually left this cold corpse of reality. Before it completely flies to the distant starry sky up above, despite knowing that all of this is irreversible, I still want to hold on to this tiny spark of light to make it return to that irreverable body. Oh! <gasps> Oh my god. She is the chess queen. Even if I must act on my own selfishness, I don't want to lose anyone else dear to me. Segula, are you still willing to go forward with me? I believe in you. Let's go. Hell to the yeah. Unstoppable crowns page. What the fuck? Dude, EOG. I love seeing EOG. Well, obviously, as you can see, we have the Red Miss facing up against her again. So this should be good. Now, you guys need to let me know if there is a second part to Bina's. Actually, you know what? I will try that at the end of this once I beat her. So let's go ahead and start with the statistics of the Unstoppable Crown. Unstoppable Crown's page. 700 HP, 350 stagger resist, 2 to 8 on the dice rolls. All HP resistances are normal. Stagger resistances are endured for slash and crush. Normal for stab. Now let's go ahead and move on to the passive abilities. We have Emotion Surge. All librarians start at Emotion Level 2. The Chess Play. At the start of each scene, exhaust all pages in hand and deck. Add new pages to hand. Their cost becomes zero. Use special mass attack page checkmate every five scenes. Unstoppable crown. Page has seven speed dice that cannot be sealed. Additional effects depend on which speed dice page was placed in king, untargetable. Queen, power gaining effects of rook, bishop, and pawn at the same time. Rook, first dice on this page gains five power and upon winning a clash, destroy next dice of opponent's page. Bishop, defensive dice power plus two. On combat start, copy and add dice from this page to counter Q knight in a clash destroy all defensive dice of the opponent's page pawn dice power plus one holy shit that's a lot counter measures once per scene respond to a one-sided attack with a random chess page not played in clashes where both characters use a combat page Activates one more time for every two destroyed speed dice. D doesn't activate if staggered. Rivers of Absolute. Upon winning a clash with an offensive dice, next offensive dice gains plus two power. Upon winning a clash with a defensive dice, next offensive dice gains two power. Checkmate contest. At the start of the act, make one librarian as black. Black. In a clash against page, all dice on pages of each other gain plus three power upon death all dice on page gains 10 power prioritizes patreon librarian okay that is insane castling hp cannot go below 600 if hp drops to 600 become immune to damage until the end of the scene and permanently destroy one speed dice of self at the start of the next scene each activation reduces needed HP value by 100. All right, guys, so that concludes all the information on the Unstoppable Crown's page. So let's go ahead and move over to Segula's page. 100 HP, 100 stagger resist, 2 to 8 on the dice rolls. All resistances are normal. Now moving on to our passive abilities, we have 
Side by side, at the start of each scene, exhaust all pages in hand and deck. Add new pages to hand, their cost becomes zero. Periodically uses singularity pages. System overload, the lower max HP value, the less speed dice slots are available. At the start of each scene, give Photon Barrier to Page. Lose 5 max HP and reduce maximum roll value of all dice by 1. System Princess slash Aberrant Dimension. Upon death, instead become staggered and immune to all damage for this scene, and cancel all pages targeting this character. At the start of the next scene, fully recover HP, stagger resist, and purge all status ailments. Each time this passive is activated in the library, max HP is reduced by 10, and max HP cannot go below 1. Light Construct, take at most 10 damage from a single attack. Petite, evade dice power plus 1, offensive dice power minus 1. Blitz Strategy 3, Evade Dice gain the following effects. Can now win slash lose in a clash against Evade Dice. Recycle upon winning a clash against Offensive Dice. Deal 6 damage to the opponent upon winning a clash. Plus 2 power. Adjust Stance, Recover 2 HP upon winning a clash. Recover 2 Stagger Resist upon losing a clash. Now let's look at her pages. Side by side, combat start, give one strength, endurance, and two damage up to one random ally. So it's automatically going to go to page. Wow. This is going to be amazing. I wonder if there's going to be any interaction with Jebra here since we did defeat Paige in the last one. So let's go ahead and get this started. All right, so there is not... Oh my god, she actually... Dude! So you got Pawn, Pawn, Knight, Bishop, Rook, the Queen, and the King. Oh! Insane. Nice. Ooh. Jesus. Huh. Oh, yeah. Don't mess with her counter dice. Oh, my God. Yeah, she's gaining all her health back. Oh, my God. I forgot how much of a pain in the ass these characters are. Their dodges and healing and fucking... Ah, oh, it's gonna be insane. <laughs> no, we can't do that. We can't do that. Never cry. Jesus. Nice. Putting some damage down. Yeah, fuck off. Oh, they we drawed on that. Jesus. Nice. Okay, so she'll be staggered. Oh my god. Oh. Nice. Her. Oh my god. Ooh. Uh, staggered? Fuck. Oh my god. Holy shit. Yeah, we are uh, in trouble. We are in massive trouble. Oh my god. Um, did not expect this. He'll heal, but Jeb is dead. Um, oh. Oh. Yeah, we're fucked. 
I believe we are massively fucked. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, maybe not Jebra. Uh hmm. Hmm. I might need to pull out the big guns. Thanks for the trouble, fake arbiter. What if I knock you down here? Uh, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what happens. This is definitely going way better than the other one. That's for damn sure. Okay, so she's at 600 already. We did not even get that close on Jeb. Arbiters are just way too fucking strong. Uh. Gonna give me this. Weight of sin. I'll be a good one as well. Let's see how this works. Oh yeah, that's gonna put her into stunned. Yep, which is good. That is the good thing about that card right there. Oh my god. And she is literally gonna drop herself down to 500. She's already there. We'll hit them with that. That's some good damage right there. Get ourselves some protection. And kaboom, baby. Woo! That hurts. Oh my god. Yep. Oh my god. So your buddy is staggered. So that's good. Hit her with that. Oh. Keep that stack on her. <laughs> Not only that, drop her stagger resistance. So when this next one comes up, we can just stagger her right away. See, that's what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to stagger her right here so she doesn't uh, probably kill Bina. Jesus. 
Um, that's a mass attack. Checkmate. Mass summation. Treat librarian with black effect as manually selected. If the librarian with black effect is killed, the reception is lost. Oh, that's not good. Uh, not enough. Ah, uh, uh, shit. Oh. Wait, why is Bina? What? Bina was unaffected? Are you fucking serious? Bina had a shield over her. Jesus. Nope. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> shit. Oh my god, how did Bina live? Add some protection on. Oh, nine protection! Hell yeah! That's a lot of protection to save Bina. Oh, uh, she rolled low. Oh no. It gives her two strength, but Jesus. Oh my god, come on! Oh, yep. Okay, Bina's not gonna take that damage. Oh, Bina died! Fuck! Oh. Ah, oh, damn it. Ah, oh, here it is. Sure enough, looks like this is it for me. We're both reaching the extent of our limits. But you know what? I've already witnessed too many people die, maybe hundreds, maybe even thousands. I was already numb to all of this. All the partings, the long hours of suffering I've experienced in the past have brought me too much pain. But one day, you came into my life and gave me a renewed hope and even encouraged me to have faith and communicate with other people. Now all sorts of memories I don't want to remember are now flashing before me like a turret. But those days with everyone at the office are the ones I don't want to forget the most. <laughs> How long has it been since I last shed a tear? Can't hear me anymore, huh? It's a miracle that you had just fainted after suffering all those injuries. I said so much things to myself, but in the end I couldn't tell you that I'm no longer able to reconstruct my body. In any case, I don't want you to die in front of my eyes like my colleagues did in my memory. Paige, forgive me. No matter what, please live. Farewell. Forever. Ah, she's sacrificing herself. Wait. Why is everyone staggered? Time Vortex. Massimation. In the end, I couldn't say goodbye to you. Wait, is she gonna rewind time? There's no way. I'm definitely able to... Nope. Have I finally reached my limits? Oh my god! Dude! Oh! My god! Holy shit! Round of applause. Round of applause. Holy shit, that was amazing! That was fucking insane! Almost everyone with the exception of Paige are now books within the library. Almost. Yes, although we managed to turn that vice operator into a book, I can already feel that there are still parts of her scattered all over the library. Is it because the library is rejecting the means she used to reconstruct herself? Very close, but obviously not. After all, she has turned into a book. Her scattered fragments being allowed to wander this place must be the library's will and doing. But Roland, do you think that she will eventually come back? 
Ho oh, ho, is that what our misdirector is worried about? It really doesn't matter either way, even if she recruits one more fixer to break in with her, she probably won't be able to set off a bigger storm than what we just had. With all that's happened to her body, she's already failed miserably, not to mention the fixers in the city that wouldn't dare to even affiliate with her. Even if she plans to continue running the office and tries to replenish manpower with some funding from the higher ups, the parent company that originally invested in them won't just let that slide. Not to mention the fact that she is the only one in the office now. The equipment that woman is going around with is going to arouse a lot of attention, especially from the wings. Is that so? Yep, looks like she finally snapped after receiving so many blows and witnessing the deaths of all those close to her at once. She was brought back to her senses by a companion in the end. That woman managed to return in one piece physically, but not mentally. She didn't even get anything back. Seems like there's no more reason for her to keep on living. I don't think we'll ever see her again. So just take it easy, Angela. I'm certain as well she won't be coming back here either. I'm not so sure about that. You know, let's not just conclude that right then and there. I'm pretty sure with her escaping, there's gonna be a bigger ending to this, I guess. But with that, let's go ahead and go open their books and look at their pages. All right, let's see. Oh, there it is. Royal Fork, holy shit, dude, there's so much good stuff. I am going to go over all of this so you guys can anticipate that. Holy shit, this is gonna be nice. All right, guys, let's go ahead and go over Paige's incomplete page real quick, starting off with her passive abilities, then moving into her unique cards. So, starting off with Thousands Feats, 100 Axe. Gain plus one power if the color of a dice is different from the previous one. Gain plus one power if the type of a dice is different from the previous one. I think that's a typo. I think that was just copied over twice, maybe. Draw one page after using all five types of dice slash pierce, blunt, block, evade. Restore one light after using dice of all three colors, offensive, defensive, counter. Aptitude of Taiyi. Draw two more pages at the start of the act. At the start of each scene, mark one random page from each initial cost in hand. All dice on marked pages gain plus one power. Can use special mystery page Oceans of Feet. After using eight marked pages, untransferable. Dead ends rebound. At combat start, add dice from a random page in hand whose cost is three or lower to the counter queue. Counter dice will be copied as is. And with that, everyone, that concludes Paige's passive abilities. Now let's move over to her unique key pages that we just got. Starting off with Lift the Mountain. Add copies of a dice on this page until the amount of dice is equal to the number of dice on the opponent's page, excluding counter dice. On Clash Win slash Lose, gain one strength and endurance next scene. Combination on Draw, randomly switch the ability of this page. Rook, Bishop, Knight. Rook, Combat Start, first dice on all users' pages gain plus three power. Bishop, Combat Start, add a block dice roll five to nine at the end of all users' pages. Knight, combat start. Give one strength and protection to all allies. Royal Fork, in addition to manually selecting target, target the enemy with the lowest HP. Deal 50% more damage to manually selected targets. Deal 50% more stagger damage to manually selected targets. Pawn Storm, counter dice from this page are added to the counter queue of all allies. If any ally uses counter dice from this page, it is removed from the counter queue of all other allies too. Holy sh- Oh my god, the dice actually go off the page too! Alright, well, I think that's all for her pages. If I missed any more, let me know guys, and I apologize for that. Now we're going to go ahead and move over to Segula's page. Now let's go over her passive abilities real quick, and then we will go over her unique pages, so... System Princess Aberrant Dimension. Upon death, instead become staggered and immune to all damage for this scene. And cancel all pages targeting this character. At the start of the next scene, fully recover HP, stagger resist, and purge all status ailments. Each time this passive is activated in the library, max HP is reduced by 35. For if there is not enough max HP remaining, die. 
Dimensional Interference Imitation. At the end of the scene, if emotion level reaches 135, select a special singularity page, untransferable. Broken Light Construct. Take at most 10 damage from a single attack, once per scene. Petite, evade dice power, plus one, offensive dice power, minus one. Blitz strategy three, evade dice gain the following effects. Can now win slash lose in a clash against evade dice. Recycle upon winning a clash against offensive dice. Deal six damage to an opponent upon winning a clash. Power plus two. And with that, guys, that concludes all the passive abilities of Segula's page. Now, let's go ahead and go over her two pages that she has. And then I want to build something with these two characters later. They may not be on this floor, but they may be on a different one. But let's go ahead and jump over into Alacritus Assault. On draw, restore one light. Blitz, gain one endurance this scene. Blitz activates when the page is drawn and used in the same scene. Counts as next scene if drawn in combat. All right. Wings Assemblage. Mass Individual. Combat Start. All allies gain one endurance and protection this scene. Gain plus one power for each living ally. And with that, everyone, that is going to conclude this video. I really hope you did enjoy it. If you did, go ahead and let me know by hitting that like button. And if you're new to the channel and you want to become part of the pack, Go ahead and hit that sub button and notification bell to know when a new video goes up. Also, don't forget to leave me a comment down below because all comments are well appreciated. And with that, everyone, I'm Dominic Wolf, and I'll see you all in the next video that I make because I am...